Hey guys, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get the third person character's orient movement to rotation functionality but in a basic Pong class so that you can have more flexibility with um, the capsules and collisions and all kinds of things that are kind of inherited in the player character's blueprint that Unreal gives you. Alright, so first things first. We're going to go in here and we're going to create our Pawn class. We'll call this Unique Pawn. We're going to go into that blueprint and I'm just going to very crudely create a Pawn for us to mess around with. So I'm going to give it a Sphere Collision just because I want to replace the default scene root. I'm going to make a cube and finally I'm going to add a cone. This is going to be the character's head. Now you gotta be very careful when you're making your characters to see which part of your mesh you're gonna actually be using for rotation settings. So for this one I'm going to move the cone out in front like this, it's going to be his head. But as you can see now, the z-axis is pointing forward, whereas for the cube, the x-axis is pointing forward. And that's going to be important because you can uh, have issues with the movement be going in the wrong direction if you're not keeping track of which way these axes are pointing. Then I'm going to add a spring arm. I'm going to make sure it's not connected to the cube and I'm going to add a camera. Now I do want the camera connected to the spring arm and I want all of these connected to the sphere but I don't want the camera connected to any one of these meshes. That's important. So I'm going to let the cone be a child of this cube here so they can just move together like so. But make sure the camera is not a part of that. And for this I'm just going to move you back a little bit and up and I'm going to rotate you down just so we can see what we're doing. Now we're going to come into the event graph here gonna get rid of all of this and you should have your movement inputs already set up so I'm going to search for mine move forward so you grab your axis events and the other one I have is spin. Okay. And one last thing I'm going to add here is a movement component. So I'm just going to use the floating pawn movement for mine. Alright. So the move forward off of this, I'm going to find the cube, because this is what we actually want to move. And I'm going to say get forward vector and add movement input and the direction we want that movement to go is the forward vector of the cube and you hook up this axis value to this and that's good to go now for this one we want to add yep, add yaw no, you don't want to add yaw. We want to add set actor rotation. Is it the actor? No, I believe it's a component. So I'll just drag off the cube. Set rotation. Here we go. Set world rotation. Now it's important you get the right one because if you set the actor rotation, you're going to be rotating all of these things together. So you just want to be able to rotate the cube and that's why it's important not to have the spring arm attached to the cube because then it's going to rotate whatever is a child of that cube. So we're going to put that here. And now off the cube, what we need to do is get the world rotation. We want to break it. And then I want to add this float value from the input axis only to the Z. And then I want to make another rotator 
and make sure this is hooked up to the Z, not the X. And then connect this here, compile, save, and I'm going to make sure we're using this pawn, unique pawn. Alright, now when I hit play, here's our character, and you see he's rotating independently of the camera, and always facing the direction that we're moving. Alright, hope that helped.